Hi again, Mike Mazzalongo, BibleTalk.tv. We're answering uh, some of your mail, some of the questions that come in. And uh, during this uh, time of uh, shutdown because of the COVID-19 uh, virus, uh, many congregations are not meeting. I think it's a wise thing to follow the uh, recommendations of the government to uh, uh, avoid putting people at risk of uh, being exposed to this virus uh, or you know, getting the virus, becoming sick. And so because of that, uh, churches are adapting. Uh, our own congregation, uh, Choctaw Congregation, is uh, uh, having a live stream our services, but a complete service. And I'll give you a, um, a website address that you can check that out if you need to. But one of the questions that's uh, come up about that is that folks are at home and they want to be able to take communion at home, not sure exactly if that's okay or not or how they should do it. Uh, first of all, it's fine. Uh, the Lord said, do this in remembrance of me. He didn't say, do it in the church building or in a public place. Uh, you know, so if we want to uh, share the communion, even if we're uh, gathered together electronically, if you wish, uh, we want to remember him on the Lord's Day by taking the communion at home. I, I believe that's fine. The spirit of it is good. Sometimes we're not sure exactly how to do it. So what you need, of course, uh, is unleavened bread and uh, grape juice or fruit of the vine, if you wish. And uh, these are not necessarily things that are easy to find. People uh, don't always know where to go. Uh, first of all, in most uh, grocery stores, um, you get uh, matzos actually, ask for matzos. If you ask for unleavened bread, they might not be sure of what you're talking about, but if you ask for matzos, uh, which is unleavened bread, uh, which is the, uh, the brand, um, uh, they uh, will uh, have those in stock. Um, these here, it even says here, uh, kosher for Passover. So Jewish people who celebrate the Passover, uh, upon which the communion is based, uh, use this type of bread. Uh, you can make it at home, and I guess there are plenty of recipes that you can find, but this is what the unleavened bread looks like. You notice, you know, we, we usually put a couple of these pieces, you know, in the plate, and people uh, take a piece of this uh, uh, at the, at the uh, communion. Yeah, clean that off here. Uh, so you can use some of this at home. This is fine. Uh, the, the grape juice is sometimes a little more problematic. If you can find grape juice, uh, the Welch's uh, brand uh, or other types, uh, usually that's the type that uh, churches use and put in individual cups or in one cup as some churches uh, do. Um, uh, if you can't, one, one lady um, uh, wrote to me saying she couldn't find any of the grape juice at the, at the grocery store. They were all out. She lives in a small town and she didn't know what else that she could use. And I recommended that she uh, get in touch with uh, Christian bookstores um, online. Uh, you can order and order these uh, single, single cups here. Uh, many uh, individuals use these. They're a one serving. They not only have the grape juice in the little cup, but they also have, and I'm gonna do this without spilling it on myself. They also have a, um, a piece of unleavened bread in the, um, in the, in the cap here. If I can get it, it's coming, here we go. If I could get it in the cap, there we go, there. And so you have a little piece of unleavened bread here like this that you can take and uh, the um, uh, the uh, fruit of the vine is here in the uh, individual serving cup let me put that out of the way so I don't make a mess so that's one way to do it uh, sometimes uh, um, uh, individuals uh, don't have access to the little cups or they don't know where to order it or there's no store close to them no Christian bookstore uh, you can also just buy regular wine and uh, water it down. You just put water in it and uh, dilute the uh, alcohol uh, pretty much out of it and use that. It's still fruit of the vine. It's still wine uh, that uh, can be used uh, for the same uh, purpose. Uh, some folks feel sensitive about the idea of uh, taking communion at home. They, they feel that if they miss taking the communion at home, they've, they've sinned or they've fallen short in some uh, fashion. And we need to remember the spirit of the thing, you know, do this in remembrance of me. Jesus said to remember him and gave us this uh, Lord's Supper as a, a means uh, to, to do this when we gather as a group. It's not the end. 
you see what I'm saying? It's a means to an end. It's, it's the way that we do that he has given us to remember him. The people who are shut into their homes because of the, the lockdown or the shutdown, uh, they're not forgetting Christ. They're not abandoning Christ. They're not abandoning their faith in him either. Uh, even though we may be restricted in uh, accessing some of the elements to use in remembering Jesus, uh, I, you know, I encourage you not to be uh, feeling uh, too badly if you don't have access to these elements and you can't uh, exercise uh, the, uh, the ritual part uh, of it uh, while you're at home. Um, uh, this, uh, this uh, virus, this uh, pandemic uh, will be over at some point. Uh, in the in the future and we'll once again be able to uh, gather together to meet and to have the communion in the meantime uh, the communion is not the only way to remember Jesus uh, we can pray and uh, use our uh, extra time to uh, maybe dive a little deeper into God's Word spend a little more time in in prayer and reflection uh, find a way to serve someone else a lot of other people older people shut in uh, could use a card or could use a, a phone call uh, in the name of the Lord uh, for encouragement. So there are a lot of ways of uh, remembering Jesus and maintaining our faith during these uh, extraordinary times. Well, I appreciate your comments and your calls. If you're interested in um, observing and participating in an online worship, our congregation, the Choctaw Church of Christ, we have a, a full service that we put on. Nobody's in the building except the individuals putting on the service. If you'd like to watch and participate, we have a, you know, a song service, we have a communion service, we have a full sermon, prayer service, so on and so forth. Uh, you can simply go to choctaw.church. Uh, 9.30 Central Time. There's a Bible study, 10.30 Central Time, uh, a full worship service. So uh, we, uh, we'd love to have you join us uh, for that uh, during, the, uh, during the time that we're uh, quarantined in our, in our homes. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.